Hey traders, this is Christian from it's Tribeca Trade Group, and this is your end of day recap for April 11th. Uh, so uh, I always start with the S&P chart um, just to kind of see what the overall market did. Uh, take a look at the pattern that's going on here. So basically, um, really not much from yesterday. We were down today. We were down half a percent, but of course we came in this morning and uh, we were down further than that. So on, uh, you know, the, the Syria tension. So it made a nice uh, tradable day. Uh, we did see a fade in the afternoon, uh, maybe a little bit of profit taking. Who knows? You can kind of formulate your own story there. Fed minutes were out, although I don't really think, you know, maybe the Fed minutes were a touch hawkish, but I don't think there was really anything, uh, you know, that we didn't already know that was Bed that Bath was in the and Fed Beyond for Q um, so just, sales, just looking at the, uh, the price action for the day, um, you know, I think one of the possible outcomes that um, I may have said yesterday in the in the recap video yesterday was that I thought um, you know one of the possible outcomes that I think would still be okay is if we kind of had a choppy day today, uh, and that's basically what we had today. You know, would have liked to see us turn green. You could see again that we're just having some difficulty with this 20 period. You just have to kind of be be patient. We're not ready to do it. Looks like you know perhaps there is still some some selling going on among some some parties. Um, also, you know, this was said in the um, in the trading room today that, you know, I think maybe some some traders are also are also getting very conditioned to selling at the end of the day with, until the volatility drops below 20. You know, by the way, just looking at the VIX, which I have up at all times, um, you know, we are getting to the place where it's getting a little sticky around this this 20 level. Um, so just like the the. The S&P is having the S&P and the Nasdaq is having a little bit of trouble getting over the 20 period moving average and, and basically turning the corner to some brighter areas. The VIX is also doing the same thing. It's just not it's not able to get below 20. So it seems like that's a sticky level. It seems like we've touched this 19 level now a couple times. I think we, we touched that around like a, around 1130 today. And uh, it seems like volatility is just is just staying present. You know, does that make sense? Well, you know, we could be going to war, not necessarily war, but there could be this escalation. But that Beth and Beyond is, down 12 uh, percent as 2018 EPS here. This is there, there was a uh, a tweet out at the end of the day, or or a story out later in the day that May is actually uh, sending over some submarines to that area. So that'll be interesting if it's a kind of coordinated approach. I think that would kind of uh, that would be best. Um, I do have I mentioned um, on Twitter earlier. This was a trade that I put into effect a couple of days ago. I have some Raytheon calls on. I think that's a great trade uh, in case. The um, I think the chart looks very good in Raytheon, and um, I put this trade on a couple of days ago, so I was able to take a target today. It did not break out today. You know, it's right around the, the, the breakout level, but I think if something does go on, this will prob probably get a little bit of a bid. So, you know, uh, good to take a target today. I took a target today right around the highs, and that was pretty much the story of the day is, you know, continuously just, you know, if you're putting on some trades, take targets, because the end of the day, um, the the picture is looking, or the middle of the day, uh, the the indices are looking quite different than they are end of the day, um, you know, and not always in the same direction. Uh, so you know, we we put on a nice trade in Netflix today. That was a nice uh, trade, and and it's the stick and again, it remains the stick and move market. Um, you put on a trade, you get profits, you take them, and you're out. Um, you know, and or then maybe put a trade on at, at the end of the day. But a couple of nice upgrades for Netflix, which reports on Monday. I think it continues higher. You know, maybe it pushes to this 326.13 level ahead of earnings. These um, these big names for earnings, they, they tend to like to rally into earnings and kind of trap everybody out. So I would keep an eye on that name, even though it's not the best looking candle for today. Um, it did gap higher. It is in value. It's above the short-term moving averages, so I think that is positive. Um, also, XBI. This was a this was a great trade, and I decided that you know right around the highs of the day, I said that's enough. I've got a more than a double on a, a limited risk reversal that I had talked about um, and sent out sent out a free video last week on uh, I think three or four trades that I put on. Uh, one of them was an XBI limited risk reversal right on the 200-day moving average. So. Again, list, uh, if you're not familiar with that term, a limited risk reversal is 
um, a bullish limited risk reversal is selling a put spread and buying a call. So I took off the call for more than a double uh, today. So, um, so mission accomplished there. And again, I think right now you just don't want to be uh, too greedy. I think that's that's been the best way to, to play the last couple of weeks. That's continuing. Uh, that is uh, continuing to be how I trade, making sure I take targets. Um, Newmont was a nice trade for me as well. This is a trade I put on a couple of weeks ago. We saw a bunch of call activity. Um, there was a little bit of puts that went up today. So I took the majority of that trade off today. Uh, I've got about... 10, 15% of that trade left on, you know, leaving a runner on at this point for Newmont. You know, I do like the fact that it just cleared out of this area. Um, and what I would, where I would like to take that, the remaining uh, portion of that trade off is, you know, right up to this 52 week high. I think that would be perfect. Um, gold and, um, yeah, gold ended up 80 basis points up on the day. Oil, I think, gave back. There was the oil inventory numbers, were, which were not that great. They actually show, showed a build. Um, today, so they finished a little bit off the highs, right at that breakout level. So you know, we'll keep an eye on that. Uh, you know, turning over to the option flow uh, for the second day in a row, there, there was some decent call buying in the energy names. Um, you know, a handful of names, maybe not as much as yesterday, but there's a couple names on there. If you also notice, there's not there was not a lot of activity uh, today. In for the first couple hours, there there was you know the usual flurry of call buying, but um, really, it was it was it was uh, pretty quiet today. There was um, I don't have this on the recap, but there was ten thousand of these July calls that went up in the queues right around like eleven o'clock today, um, pretty much right around the high of the day. So I just wanted to put that in there. Um, MRVL that was a, a day trade that I took today. Um, I left a tiny piece on here just to see if it wants to run a little bit further. You got an MACD uh, crossover. But I'm out of out of 90% of that trade, uh, hitting profits on that. Um, just a couple, just to kind of round out what else I did today. I put on a little bit of square yesterday. I took some off today. There was a decent um, fire. I was another name that saw a lot of call buying today. Um, very small pieces. Um, you could see for yourself. FireEye, uh, you know, just all lots under a thousand shares. And if you look at how that totaled up. It was about 8,000 of those. So I would love to see a breakout in FireEye. This is a name that I'm long both stock and in options taking, you know, that's the second target I've taken now in the FireEye option play since we saw calls of, uh, a couple weeks ago. But so now at this point, um, I'm okay. I'm, I, and I'm all the way out in FireEye in what? What am I, Ju uh, July or September? I think it's actually September. Yeah, I'm in the September uh, 20 calls in this one. So, um, that's pretty much it for the day. There was I have to check the open interest tomorrow for MGM. Uh, we saw MGM calls up, calls go up yesterday, and I didn't take the trade. I mentioned that MGM is kind of a tricky um, a tricky name to play in options. Um, so sometimes it's just better to kind of sit on your hands, write it down in your notebook. But they went ahead and and um, they traded a total of fifteen thousand, which is right around the open interest on these August thirty fives. But you know. Uh, catching a name that's down 3% today on no news. Um, so I did start a position right at the end of the day just to kind of see what they're up to. Check open interest tomorrow. A um, couple other small cap names. Okta. This is a nice software name. Uh, again, a little bit of a fade at the... Uh, mostly, I mean, almost all stocks did this at the end of the day. So again, I'm not overly worried about that. Um, normally when we see a fade at the end of the day, but it's just been how this market has been. Uh, so, you know, I would I would kind of say that today, even looking at the NASDAQ, was, was, a, uh, was an inside day um, today. So I think you just have to give it a little bit more time. Do I love that most names got faded today? No. Um, but uh, it's it's only it's only one day. Um, IWM in terms of the major indices showing the best progress I think um, over the 50-day moving average um, and over all short-term moving averages and in, in value. So again, not a huge candle, but but definitely making some strides here. And sometimes small caps do lead the market activity. Notice you got a uh, fresh MACD crossover as well. So it's a lot of positive things there. All right, so that's it for today's video. A little bit shorter than usual, uh, which is fine. The activity was kind of quiet today, so um, we'll see how we'll see what we get for the rest of the week. 
All right, guys, have a great, uh, have a great night and see you tomorrow in the trading room.